Zach, if you want to go ahead. Hey, everyone. Um, could you just, you know, obviously there's been so, some attrition in the defensive line uh, this preseason, uh, raising a lot of concerns, particularly about the interior. Could you just give us what you see, your assessment of the D-line as a group and how they've been working together so far, despite, uh, you know, losing people left and right for a while there? I mean, for us, we, we've just been working as much as we can. I mean, um, our philosophy has always been, I'm pretty sure you guys have always heard this, like next man up. And we got some dogs on the D-line, even though we're, we're thin and we're getting new people in every day. People are willing to buy into the system and, you know, we're, we're reloading every day. So I feel like we'll be fine going into the season because we have some hard workers and some young, hungry guys on the D-line as well. Thanks. Thanks, Gene. Let's um, jump over to Cassidy and then Jordan. Hey, how's it going? Going good. Um, I know last offseason you looked into a lot of different areas and ways you could prove your game. You looked into the martial arts and sort of got into that. Have you continued that this offseason or maybe even taken on a new activity? Uh, no, I've definitely just elevated that. Um, I work with a martial arts specialist three or four times uh, a week. And also my my guy at Rise and Grind, Jason. I got a couple of other guys working with me, too. So we've just been working hard this whole offseason been doing whatever we can been working since like january until the season been working real hard so i'm just can, trying to continue it and trying to take a uh, new step up every single year so that's my goal were there some specific times last season that maybe you saw it pay off like maybe you did something in a game and you thought you know I'm, i probably wouldn't have been able to do that a year ago oh definitely um i would definitely say my strain and being able to uh shed blocks definitely like that that got way better and tremendously better and I'll, I'll give all that credit to definitely Rise and Grind because I've been working a bunch on my strength there and uh, lifting and doing whatever I can to be able to stop the run. So that's my goal. Thanks so much. No Thanks, Cassidy. Let's go over to Jordan and then Mia. Hey, Dewan. You took a pretty big leap last year in your role, uh, getting after the passer, getting the six sacks. What are your goals from an individual standpoint? I know you're a very... Uh, team-oriented group, but what are your goals from an individual standpoint heading into 2020? Uh, my goal is just to do whatever I can with the reps I have. I mean, I, I know I had like 38% of the snaps last year. I'm hoping to get more going into my fourth year, but all I can really do is just um, not really focus on that. I mean, I know, I know like after this year, I'm supposed to be up for a contract and stuff like that, but I don't want to get distracted by that right now. I'm just trying to focus on being able to just go out there and make plays. And that's just kind of what I did last year, just trying to prove myself and make plays as much as I can. So that's my goal this year. And that's, I'm still in the same mindset. Thanks. All right. Thanks, Jordan. Let's go over to Mia and then John Reed. Hey, Dewan. Long time no chat. Um, <laughs> kind of building off of that. Obviously, you know, you thought you'd be in one role your first year here. Then you're in your second. Maybe you're not getting as much playing time as you'd like. You know, there's talk of what your role is on this team. Can you just describe the emotions of the evolution of your role with this team? Uh, I would definitely say it's been a lot of ups and downs. I mean, I came in as a rush, then I got moved to big end, and now I'm at big end, now I'm at rush. Like, I don't really know, and I've played every position on the line at this point. But, I mean, the great part about that is that I know every position. So people are able to come to me and ask me questions and stuff. So... I mean, emotionally now, I'm I'm at a point where I'm just trying to lead as much as I can and help out any guy that comes in. So if, even if I'm starting or I'm second string or anything like that, if I know what to do, like, why not help the next guy up? Because I, I want that if I was a rookie coming in. So that's just what my focus is, is helping out everybody and just, like, whatever role I have to play, play at full speed and go 100%. Another guy who's kind of been in that same exact boat is Taven. Have you two maybe leaned on each other a little bit as – you both have kind of been part of that D-line shuffle. Yeah, definitely. That That's my boy. I know <laughs> I know he's probably uh, going to see this see this and smile. But, yeah, we really lean on each other. We actually played a game with each other a lot, played a little Call of Duty and stuff, just chatted up and, you know, just really lean on each other emotionally as well. So it's been good. I think sometimes he kind of gets maybe because he was the first rounder and people expected him starting from day one, kind of gets a bad rep. Why, why do you think that is? And maybe, you know, Tell the folks at home why, why you know, he deserves all the accolation. I mean, if you really pay attention to every single play whenever Taven's out there, he wrecks. 
he's he's freaking knocking people off blocks and knocking off pullers and everything like that. That's his role. That's his. I mean, that that's what he does. He he's a wrecking ball. He's gonna get vertical and he's gonna knock off blocks and do what he has to do to open up plays for our linebackers. So I mean, just because he's just because the stat sheet doesn't show it doesn't mean he's not out here like grinding and he's a valuable part of the team as well. You know, so I mean, he he just stays in his role. He he knows what he can do and that's what he's gonna do. Awesome. Thanks, Juan. Thanks, Neil. Let's go over to John Reed and then John Shipley. Yeah, so do you feel you you you're at your, a point right now that you're most comfortable with what you've done, and you look back on your um, what all the things you've done? It's like you seem a, a guy who was willing to experiment with things. Some of it didn't work. Some of it did. But do do you feel comfortable? And do you? regret anything that you did or do you i mean man, how do you just feel about your career right now i mean right now uh i definitely thought that i was going to be in a different place of course i mean everybody coming in after college just think they're just going to keep rolling and get eight nine ten sacks and go crazy and be like a josh allen you know but <laughs> um I'm, I'm definitely comfortable i would say within my role of like leadership wise and being able to help out all the guys but i'm i'm definitely not you know comfortable with like any of my stats or like what i'm able to do on the field like i'm trying to get more like i'm trying to go for more i'm trying to get double digits and do whatever i can for the team and you know, put some W's on the board. That's my goal at the end of the day. What, what did you feel when you, I think you went 24 games without a, a, a sack. Did, did, did that push you to a, another level? You know, no, no coach had to tell you what you needed to do. Or what, what, I mean, what did that do the first two years of your career you didn't have a sack? Uh, the first two years kind of just put me in a place of like uncertainty. You know, like the stat sheet's not showing exactly what I'm doing. I know like whenever I got out there, like, I'll I'll get a TFL here and there, you know, just just making plays here and there. But I never really had that true sack until last year. But um, I mean, I feel like my motivation really came. It didn't necessarily come from the team. It came from my my family. Like when, once I had my kid and everything like that, I felt like I had, like like somebody was leaning on me. Like I somebody was depending on me. So I had no other choice but to go get it last year. And <laughs> I just put my head down and work. Just figured out what I had to do and just lifted and grinded and did what I had to do and. Hey, it all worked out. So that's what I'm trying to do. <laughs> Thank you, man. Thanks, John. Let's jump over to John Shipley. Hey, Dewan. Uh, I, I know you've uh, been teammates with Timmy Jernigan for just a couple of weeks. What can you say about the energy he kind of brings to the defensive line room, what kind of teammate he is? He is a dog. <laughs> He's out there with all the energy, and he brings it. Like, today I was down. We just came off a little vet day or whatever we just had. But, like, I was down and like he just came out there like what what like he was out there singing and everything and he really got me hyped up and and I and I ended up having a good practice right right off his shoulders so hey man I, I love him he he's definitely somebody that I want on the team for a long time. Uh, cool thanks for on. Sure. Awesome thanks it looks like that is the last question for today so anyone else last chance. All right you're good. I'm good. Thanks Appreciate so much for you. your time. All right thanks for having me. All right, thanks.